In the first five days of this month, I've been able to earn about $900 from the Facebook bonus program. And by the end of today, it's very possible that I'll be at over $1,000 in earnings my first five days of this pay period. In today's video, I'll share how I've been able to earn about $200 per day from Facebook this month. But I'll also share some unsettling truths about Facebook and its algorithms. But enough with the fun and games. It's time for everyone's favorite, work. And of course, what to do about it. So let's jump in. So check out this earnings screenshot. As you can see, I've earned $897.62 since September 4th. And I'm recording this on September 9th, and today's not even complete. So in just under five days, I made about $900. Like I said, I may be at $1,000 by the end of today, but this also shows the posts that are earning the highest bonuses. So you can see that my number one post has made over $200. My second post, $120. My third post, $90. So all combined, that's three, $400-ish, a little over $400 for my top three posts. And then the rest is coming from a variety of other posts. And uh, so I'm doing pretty well in the first five days of this pay period. But the truth is the Facebook bonus program is not always great or consistent. Sure, it's nice when you have your content hit, but not all of your content does well. In addition, Facebook is always changing their algorithm for how they show content to a broader audience, just like Google. So the Facebook bonus program is not a magic bullet, but it sure is a fun side hustle. All right. Here's three strategies I've been using to make up to $200 per day on Facebook. And be sure to stick around for how I combat the inconsistent nature of Facebook. First, you have to be invited to the Facebook bonus program. I've been making most of my money directly on Facebook, and this is only possible if you get invited. Unfortunately, Facebook doesn't tell you exactly what you need to do to get invited. However, I believe it's a matter of follower count and engagement. If you have like 10,000 followers, I think that's plenty of followers to get accepted. Now you need good engagement. I started by posting up to 10 times per day to find what types of posts were getting the most likes and comments. I would not focus on sending traffic to your own website in the early days. Mark Zuckerberg wants to keep as many people on Facebook as possible. I mean, we all want to help poor Mark make more money with the Facebook, right? When Mark makes more money and more people stay engaged on Facebook, he might just throw you a bone and accept you into the bonus program. So think about keeping people on Facebook and commenting, liking, and sharing content as much as possible. Strategy number two is to discover what type of content gets the most engagement based on other pages and social media platforms. For example, I've been able to look at Twitter a lot for inspiration. So I have just three examples here that I'd like to share. So as I was scrolling Twitter, one of the first videos that came up just said bank transfer at the machine should be illegal. And it just shows this video of a person at a casino. And right there, while they're gambling, they can transfer, you know, $20,000. It's a bad idea. This video has gone viral, has 27 million views on Twitter. So I could think about how can I post this same video on my Facebook page, have a different commentary. I know that people are engaging with this type of content. Another video that showed up here, um, and again, I'm gonna turn off the sound, but it looks like somebody's about to get robbed. She throws her purse over the fence. Uh, this person goes in, right? And the commentary is, I did not expect this because he comes out, he gives her the purse and says, hey, this is where I live. Uh, so kind of just a funny video with a quick twist. It's got 38 million views on Twitter. In what way could you post this on your Facebook page? You don't just have to look at what's going viral within your main feed. You could also do a, a search. So I did a quick search for baseball cards and this is what showed up. You know, I miss the days when we didn't know what our baseball cards were worth and it shows, you know, somebody drew a face on a Mickey Mantle card, right? Uh, kind of just a funny one. But if I were in these sports or the baseball card niche, I could take this image, I could add my own commentary, right? I might take a different angle, but this is sure to get a lot of reaction, right? You can see that almost a million people have seen engaged uh, with this post. 
So you can use other social media platforms uh, to figure out what types of content you could post on your page. Now, of course, you could also look at other Facebook pages. You could look at Instagram or other social media platforms to better understand what types of content is engaging. Remember, don't copy post word for word. Instead, add your own commentary on the video clips, images, memes, or other types of content. Now, my third strategy is to keep a high post frequency. For my Facebook page, making about $200 per day, we post 15 times per day. It's a lot of content. The more swings you take, the more likely you are to hit a home run. The reality is that not all of your followers will see all of your content. So your audience won't know you are posting 15 times a day. They might see one post a day from you, if you're lucky. However, when Facebook finds that your audience is engaging with one or more of your posts, they will show it to a much broader audience. And that's when things can go absolutely viral and be shown to millions of people. People that aren't even following your page. I know all of this sounds great, but the hard truth is that Facebook is very inconsistent. But stick around, I'm going to give you an additional strategy to make your business a bit more consistent. For example, when I first got accepted to the Facebook bonus program, I made about $3,000 per month for the first two months. Then last month, my earnings tanked to just $1,000. So what happened? Well, Facebook decided to test out their algorithm and change things up. Lots of other people saw their earnings on their Facebook content plummet as well. But now Facebook appears to have tweaked their algorithm yet again. And now my page and others are performing better than ever. So I wouldn't put all your eggs in the Facebook basket. I'd recommend having both a website and a Facebook page. When you have a website, you can build an audience through your email list, you can start getting traffic from Google, and you can obviously make money from ads on your website directly. So while you are running your Facebook page, I'd also start publishing content on your website. So right now I post 15 times per day on Facebook, but two of those posts per day are actually links going to my website. So some of those posts on Facebook that lead to my website get lots of interaction and I start making money on my website through ads primarily. However, I'm also starting to get traffic from Google because I'm posting so much. Yes, traffic from Google can also have its ups and downs, but the truth is that my business overall makes way more money from free SEO traffic than I do from Facebook. So here's two secrets for maximizing the potential of your website. When your website gets traffic from Facebook, Google, or anywhere for that matter, you wanna maximize the number of page views from each visitor. I personally use Link Whisper to help maximize visitor value in two ways. First, I add internal links to other articles on my site. As I write content, Link Whisper suggests relevant internal links to other content on my website. So. I'll add a few internal links. I then track how many clicks these internal links get using the click tracking feature directly within Link Whisper. Each click these links get is a new page view on my website and more page views equals more money. Based on the click tracking, I can tweak the anchor text or placement of these links to optimize the clicks. Think of it as an internal link a B testing to maximize page views. Another way I maximize page views is the related post widget for Link Whisper. I can add a related post widget at the end of an article or anywhere within the article that I decide. If someone is reading an article about basketball cards, for example, and I show them a few other articles about basketball cards, the odds are high that they may click and read another article. Link Whisper finds the related posts for you automatically based on categories and tags within WordPress. Now, if you decide that you'd like to check out Link Whisper, be sure to use coupon code VIDEO at checkout in order to get $25 off. Just go to linkwhisper.com or click the link in the description. So even if you are wanting to make money from the Facebook bonus program, I highly recommend 
that you build a website as well in order to maximize your revenue. Then you have two revenue streams and two different sources of traffic. Want even more details on how I've been able to make money from Facebook? Be sure to check out my video about how I produced viral content on Facebook right here. Thanks again for watching.